Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play where we're going to be diving into Elite Zoo North, but first, sort of breaking from tradition over here, just want to mention something really quickly before we dive in. I've seen a handful of you mentioning this over the last couple of episodes, I would say, and so I thought I'd address it right at the top of this episode and see what y'all were thinking. Um, so Elite Zoo North has been going fantastically. We've, you know, hit our stride. We're making money. We're, we've got tons of animals, tons of visitors. Everyone's happy. Five stars. Excellent. Very happy with this. Uh, but some of you were asking, when are we going to start our next zoo? This is franchise mode after all. When are we going to start our next zoo? What's it going to be? What's the theme? What's the idea? Etc. Etc. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know. That's the honest answer. I've been having so much fun with Elite Zoo North, I've just kind of got this tunnel vision going where we're growing and we're developing and there's still so much to do and it feels like there will always be lots to do. So I want to hear from all of you in the comments. Let me know what you think we should do in terms of starting other zoos. I'm still very much attached to Elite Zoo North. There's still so much work to do here. I don't want to just jump ship. Um, you typically you jump ship when things are going poorly. We should have done that back in December, maybe, but no, we, we recovered from that, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm so attached. Um, so, no plans in the very near future to move on from Elite Zoo North, and of course, it's franchise mode, so we'd keep coming back even when we do open our next zoo, but I do eventually want to open more zoos. I've seen some interesting suggestions in the comments. Having a zoo which is only about, uh, you know, breeding albinos, having one which is only about this, one that's only about that. There's some really cool suggestions, and uh, I'll keep those coming as well, but I, I think the big question today is, I want to try and get sort of a, a, an understanding of people's uh, feel, or... Um, what, what, we're, what we're doing in terms of uh, opening more zoos uh, in the near or maybe far future. I just want to hear from y'all. So, with that said, let's dive on into Elite Zoo North because, like I said, there's still plenty of work to do over here. Plenty of work to do over here. And folks, just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, please do not hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes such a big difference. Not only do the number of likes and comments give me a very quick read on what people are interested in watching in on this channel. Uh, watching in on this channel? Watching on this channel. Oof. <laughs> just adding random words in there, why not? Uh, but yeah, lo looking at the, the likes and comments gives me a very quick read and I can tell what people want to see more or less of. And then on top of that, I do enjoy reading through all the comments. Whether you've got advice and you want to write out an essay with suggestions or thoughts, go for it. I love it. If you have just a short quip you want to share, go for it. Not, I, I, I never complain about comments. I love reading through your comments. Uh, as long as, you know, you're not trash talking. So, you know, you know what I mean, right? As long as it's a, it's a, a comment that's either constructive or nice or whatever it might be, even if you're just saying hello, uh, I enjoy reading through the comments. I always say that because... I always read through the comments. Uh, I want to mention as well, folks, just moments before I started recording this episode, we actually hit, ooh, nice, let's go ahead and claim that reward, you know, because we need the money so bad. Uh, we actually hit 110,000 subscribers, which is wild, and I want to thank all of you because you are, of course, a massive part of that, so thank you very much. 110k subscribers, that's huge. We grew 10% in about a month's time. YouTube still hasn't given me my check mark or my silver play button. I haven't heard anything about that, so maybe I should check in with them about where that is, because I gotta figure out what to do with that as well when it comes. Anyway. Let's get to uh, let's get to work. I have a lot to do today. Uh, first things first, going to tackle some of the uh, issues that I didn't realize I left hanging. So Flamingo Park uh, lost its name when we moved the habitat gate, and apparently, not just that, but all the education gets uh, dissociated as well, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, just because I moved the habitat gate doesn't mean the education boards should break. Oh, that's weird. Only the one broke. Okay. Uh, some of you suggested that they'd all broken, but maybe it was just the one. Where did I put these things down even? I, oh, right. One was in the gazebo, no? One's at the base of the gazebo. One is up top over here. This one doesn't have... That's so weird that only some of them... Or maybe I caught one last session. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, folks, but uh, some of them have clearly broken. So thank you for pointing that out. Let's go ahead and fix these issues. Yeah, it seems more of them have broken than not. So I must have just caught the other one. Uh, and hopefully, we'll just do a quick check with the education overlay over here. Uh, these have, yeah, all been assigned, so that's not a problem. Uh, the other thing that's been suggested quite a bit is that... Hmm, it's kind of hard to... The suggestion was that we expand the habitat over here 
down across the tracks into this area uh, because doing that would allow us to uh, increase the uh, surface area of the habitat of the enclosure and by increasing the surface area of the enclosure we would reduce the percentage of coverage so if we look at our uh, flamingos flaming guy flaming folk um, we see that coverage is yeah based on a percentage 55 percent of their area has coverage and so they're upset it should be more like i don't know what's that 10 percent 20 percent 25 percent um so yeah, one very clever way to do that, and I appreciate the suggestion, one very clever way to do that is by expanding their enclosure. However, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we are kind of boxed in over here. Now I could push, no, nah, I don't really have room here either. Well, one thing I could definitely do is I could push the uh, uh, these hedges back again, because I nudged them forward, but unfortunately, because the leaves are still covering the ground here, it still counts as coverage. So what I could do instead is go the other way around and just expand this even further because that way now there's this empty space which is, you know, counting in my favor, so to speak. So let's see if that works out. I could also allow them to go underneath the tracks over here. You know, that's not a bad idea. That, that would give... Whoops. That would... Uh, this is like the worst... Uh, time to use the phrase kill two birds with one stone, but that... with one stone, but that would... That would that would, that would definitely be what we're doing here. Killing two flamingos with one stone. Um, hopefully we're not killing any flamingos with any stones. Uh, let's go ahead and pop you out to here. And then we could add another one over. Oops, add another step over here. Pull you out a little bit. Making this a horrible mess. Um, and I really don't like how this works sometimes. We set it straight. No, we have to. There we go. There we go. If I move you down to here, let's say, just trying something. I know it's a little funky looking right now, but bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Uh, and I would have gone about this in a more organized fashion had I realized I was going to do this, but honestly, it just occurred to me that I could expand these things into these little corners. Uh, let's go ahead and add another point over here. All right. One thing I do wish the game allowed is... So in franchise mode, you cannot save and... Um, there's a couple things. You, you uh, When you play in franchise mode, it just plays. There's no pausing, there's no, you know, um, playing and then scrubbing back time or anything. So I can't open the game up and investigate things. Uh, I do every once in a while, um, but if, if time moves forward, then it actually, you know, counts against me, so to speak. We don't want to be in there. Let's undo that. Uh, counts, you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at? Hope, I, hope, I hope I was clear when I said that. Um, but it's something I have to be wary of. Right, let's go ahead and check. Like, what I mean to say is, so I couldn't go in and take a look at all this stuff before I started recording this session, is what I'm getting at. So let's take a look here, 50%. Wow, that, you know what, that, that's not bad. That's a 5% drop by doing that. So if we continue that concept, and I, I, I do have a pretty extensive time-lapse plan today, folks. So I hope... Bear with me while I do some of this management stuff, but uh, the time lapse today might actually end up being quite a long one if it goes uh, to plan. Or it, it might not be necessarily a long one, but it'll be one where we accomplish a fair bit, or, or at least I'm hoping. It's something that many of you have been mentioning for a while. It's been something that I've wanted to tackle for a while, and so it might finally be time to uh, tackle it. Whatever it might be. Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? Gotta keep a little bit of mystery. Well, I'm, I'm glad that this expansion is working a bit more efficiently than expected. I don't think it's going to be enough. Moving right to the edge of the tracks over here. Again, I guess what we could do is create a little passage down over here. We could do that. Let's Okay, let's see what the flamingos are saying right now. What are y'all saying? Still 50%. Okay, I'm going to experiment with something over here real quick. Don't mind me. Let's edit this barrier. Go ahead and delete this section. And let's go ahead and build this out. Just bear with me here, folks. Not saying this is what we're doing, but this might lay the groundwork for what goes on down over here, right? Go ahead and adjust you. By the way, plus minus is the keyboard shortcut to adjust length. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's really a lot slower than just dragging the slider. Uh, okay, let's see. What's the deal here? 
Wow, that's still not enough. Eh? All right, well, I know there are some trees. Oh, no, these trees are not causing any coverage. Uh, okay, let's undo. I want to be able to undo this if I have to. All right, let's edit that again. And the reason why I'm doing this in real time, folks, is because I want your input. I want your opinions. I want your thoughts on what's going on right now, uh, rather than just kind of doing it. Because I'm not 100% sold that this is exactly what I want to do here, but it might be what works best. What I'm thinking is maybe down over here, we, uh, oh, again, we've talked about this area for a while. Some of y'all were suggesting, oh, cheetahs would actually fit here quite nicely, etc., etc. Uh, I've taken all that into consideration, but I think uh, to keep the flamingos happy, what we might need to do is build a, um, build an expansion to their habitat into this area. But at the same time, we could still make this into a park. Now, an, a really interesting suggestion I saw uh, was to perhaps make this into a playground. So use the construction pieces and stuff that are available to uh, to build it into a playground. And I really like that idea. And we, it could still be a playground while, you know, the uh, flamingos mingle in the area. Um, so nothing is stopping that idea from being executed. I'm just curious to see what y'all think. Um, I, quite, I quite like that idea. I quite like that idea. Uh, so what we could do is in this area, we do like a little... Uh, gazebo so that the animals can you know tuck in and we you know this is probably I probably got to narrow this a little bit uh, do a little gazebo so the animals can tuck in maybe even extend the path so uh, people can actually go from down here uh, up to the main area so to speak there's there's ways to execute this that I think would be quite nice but first let's see if it's even worth it right that's a huge space that's gotta be good enough no not enrichment are you kidding me? 40%? Oh, it's got to be because I haven't hit play. It's got to be because I haven't hit play. Uh, let's check the habitat. A lot of escape routes now, it says. Really? I guess they can hop onto this. That's wild, actually. This is a very... Why, why are they able to escape over here as well? Hmm. Maybe I need to increase the height of these hedges a little bit. This is proving to be a bit more uh, of an issue than I'd initially anticipated, I'm not going to lie. Okay, if I increase the height of you to 2 meters, let's say. That's got to solve the problem. And fair, that means you have to come into Flamingo Park to actually see the flamingos, which is good because that's where all the education boards and donation bins and stuff are. So, you know, I don't mind that, if I'm completely honest. Up you to 2 meters as well. There we go. I believe there was a lot of escaping potential over here. Go ahead and loop all the way around over here. Weird. I, I guess, yeah, they could hop onto the tracks is what the game's implying. So let's go ahead and see if setting this to two meters. Two meters is probably too high. Maybe we'll go back in and adjust that down. But for now, I want to see if I can find a flamingo. Uh, oh, you know what? It's probably just because I didn't hit play. Let's go ahead and hit play, let it register the changes, and then it'll probably say, oh no, look, we're fine. Give it like 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, no. Really, you're still able to escape. I don't believe that. Ow. Oh, there we go. Took more than 10 seconds, took its time. But if we look at the, uh, still 40%. That's ridiculous, this entire area is empty. That is kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and undo all of that. Because clearly making this entire area belong to the flamingos makes no difference. So why do it? So why do it? Damn, I was really hoping that would work. I was really hoping that would work, but alas, it did not. Now, before we hit play again, or yeah, before we hit play again, I do need to check... This, as many of you spotted and pointed out, this is probably allowing our peafowl to escape a lot more readily than they should be able to. So let's go ahead and... Panel too short. Game, come on. Don't do this to me. Hop one down over here, and then we can move you out. There we go. So that should prevent their escaping over here. Hopefully we won't see more, you know, chicken run, peafowl run episodes on this uh, series. That's that taken care of. Let me just double check that real quick. Yeah, we're good. Well, ugh. might as well, might as well just move it. Nope, nope. Undo that. That's that's why we're not adjusting that party. Just you though. 
Oh, there. Okay, there we go. We haven't had a problem anywhere else, so that should do the trick. Again, thank you all for, for pointing that out. Now, apart from that, by Flamingo Park, some of y'all said there was a sideways tree. And I'm maybe I'm blind. Maybe it's night blindness, but I cannot spot the sideways tree by Flamingo Park. So, if you can get a bit more exact about where it was, <laughs> I will sort that out. Yeah, all these trees seem okay. All these trees seem okay. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just blind. Uh, with that said, though, something that was suggested is perhaps some of these feeders... And I do ha I have a bunch of feeders, but maybe I don't have enough. So maybe some of them should come down over here. And we can pop you down over there. Pop you down over here. And maybe, just maybe, our... Um, not only our flamingos, but our guests and all will start coming to the hard shelter to actually enjoy the uh, the gazebos that I've made for them. Was a lot of effort went into those gazebos and just not being used. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at... Man, the nasty plants are looking so dope. Uh, down over here, I think it was. No, wait, not, not, wasn't, yeah, it was you guys. What's the issue over here? I've got them named and everything. Uh, Eduardo's getting kind of old. So maybe we just swap them out. But uh, everything here otherwise is sorted. There was a comment that said these guys need to be fixed, but uh, seems like they're working just fine. However, last session I did skip out on Bagrabas. I need to fix this as well. Uh, I missed out on these guys, but looks like they're, oh my god. Doing more than okay. Got a mom and dad. Mom's pregnant. Dad's old. Dad's time to go. Go ahead and just trade some of these guys out. I'm not going to do a lot of um, uh, exhibit animal management today. Maybe I'll do it later in the session. Just to change things up a little bit. And I think we can hit play now. Do you have you coming through? That's fine. I'm pretty sure we're okay with all of our animals. We've taken pretty good care of them. Oh, are you play fighting? We're taking pretty good care of them. They're very happy, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if we get another five-star evaluation. We've had that a couple times now. So that's I'm feeling really good about that, actually. I'm feeling really happy about that. Got a handful of five stars in a row. Simington is not up here. Simington is down over here. Buddy, how you doing? You're doing great. Fantastic. Um, over here. This concerns me. This concerns me, but no, you look happy, actually. Oh, your stats are poor. I just remember seeing a bunch of yellow in the top right corner with a camel selected. And I was like, was it because of their uh, enclosure? No, no, no. They're, they're overall happy, which is great. Uh, though I don't think their food quality. And I, I will be renaming this spot as well. A little bit of work to do still uh, to this area. Don't you worry. Name is coming. Um, but your food quality, yeah, we can't up that. Let me just check another thing over here real quick. With Flamingo Park. Did we, yeah, have to re-up your food quality. So good spot there. We did change it, but again, because I moved the habitat gate, all that information got tossed out the window, uh, which is a little unfortunate. I think we're able to hit play now. Um, yeah, when, uh, when we hit play, though, the first thing I want to tackle is uh, this. Uh, Camelot number one and number two, we're going to go ahead and resize those letters. And uh, I actually wanted to add maybe where? Where would I add this? Maybe over here. Sure. I want to add an info center over here. Now, the closest info center is... I think it's one of these, is it not? Flaminfo. Uh, you know, that's pretty far away still. We could add another info center here if it starts raining or whatever. People will need to get stuff from... You can tell I'm just putting this down because I got a great name suggestion. And I actually got this a couple episodes ago. Uh, let's go ahead and put you down over... Uh, let's put you down over here so we can fit something else over here if we need to. Let's put you over here, actually. Pop you down over here like so. And, um... I'm gonna have to move this because no power over here, of course. Your name is... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Relevant information. Are you kidding me? A name like that? You think I'm gonna let that go by me? Not a chance. Oh, you're in no man's land as far as power is concerned. That's okay, because you know what? We've got money. And since we've got money, I don't mind putting down another solar panel. Actually give this area a bit of coverage as well. The other thing, oh, you know what I wanted to do over here was get the, um... Get the ride down, so let's not forget that. 
gondola was going to go over here. Okay, okay, not a problem, not a problem. We can move you over to... Grab that group there, move you over to here. Or actually, hmm. Keep you over here. The gondola can probably go over there, in which case it actually is more important that we have a solar panel down over here, which is good. Put the solar panel down over here, and let's go ahead and make it worth a bit more than just a solar panel. Let's add ourselves... I was doing this a little bit more at the beginning. Uh, I do want to do it more often, but no harm in having a solar panel be accompanied by an education board that talks about, say, climate change. Pretty suitable topic. You know, fossil fuels, all the stuff in the air, blah, 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 blah. Uh, marries nicely, I think. Uh, okay, so that's a lot of stuff taken care of over there. I think it's... I hate interrupting nighttime now because it just—I really like how it looks. I'm gonna say I think it's time to move on to our time lapse, but let's give it a let's give it a minute or so, just while just while we uh, wait for the sun to rise. There's a couple things we could do, and then we are going to go ahead and do a time lapse, which again will be quite comprehensive. Is my hope at least. Now I hope this uh, episode ends up being you know, over an hour. It's sometimes, it gets hard to keep a track of this stuff when the time lapse goes on for a long time, uh, because there is still, at the end of the day, only 24 hours in a day. Uh, so I still have, you know, there's still a, a technical time limit <laughs> if I want to release the video on time. Uh, but I hope this episode ends up being an hour-ish long. It might end up a little short. I know usually when I say that, we end up with a two-hour episode, but I don't think we're going to have that happen today, because quite a bit of time is going to be dedicated on this uh, time lapse I'm talking about. Now, if we take a look at our animal trading real quick, we really ought to take a look at what we can get off of some of these animals. Because um, we could probably stand to make a decent amount of uh, conservation credits, really. I thought we put Margarita and Pedro up for trade last session. They're both pretty good. Let me go ahead and take a look at what the Galapagos tortoises go for these days. Uh, giant Galapagos tortoise? No, Galapagos giant tortoise. Why is it the other way around? Whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's organize by appeal and take a look at... These aren't tortoises. <laughs> Get rid of you, thank you. Let's go ahead and take a look at... 1350... 3000. Not bad. I organize by price. Because some people are only going to want to like get the cheapest ones. But... My guys and girls aren't cheap. These are, these are decent quality animals. Now, an interesting suggestion I got was to actually rename these animals so that we can reflect where they're coming in from. Um, and maybe that might influence some buyers. It does usually say where the animal's from. I wish you could change their name over here. For now, I'll, maybe I'll do that some other time, but for now, 3,000 seems, like, ridiculous. Let's go ahead with 2,500. Let's go ahead with 2,500. 3,000 just feels ludicrous. So, 2,500 for you. Margarita, good genes. Uh, Pedro, not as good genes, so you will go with 2,000. I think those are fair prices. Gowan, 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 go on. However that's said, go ahead and trade you out. Um, grizzly bears have a soft spot in my heart, so if I sound broken up about getting rid of a grizzly bear like this, it's because I am. Alright, embrace. 500 approximately, 450, 500. These guys are... Gowan's a male. It was pointed out to me that males and females go for different prices. Uh, 500 seems fair. Okay, fair enough. Oh, looks like we've already made a trade. Or no, that was just from saying hello. We're at 4,052. Let's try and remember that. So let's go ahead and trade you for, yeah, let's say 500. That's wild. It's starting at 287. Maybe I could go higher than that. This is a high appeal. 3,500 almost. These guys are all going for 500 or so. Sure, let's go with 500. Let's stick with 500. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Set you up for trade. If I could just click on you. There we go. 500. Trade you out. Let's go. And then we've got our uh, pronghorn antelopes as well, which... I mean, I don't really even... Pronghorn antelopes, they don't make you a lot of money. The wolves. Now, I could trade out some wolves, but... It, <laughs> that's harder for me than trading out anything else. Really, if I'm honest. Uh, what, are, what are the prices we're looking at over here? If we, if we organize by appeal, 400s, 100s, 500s. Okay. These are all the males. What about females? Pretty cheap. 
pretty cheap. I mean, I guess we could go with... Uh, oh, of course, it had to snow. I want to do a time lapse. Gosh. Thought I had more time. Um, let's let's play around with like 75s, 100s, things like that. Stick in that range. So, for example, you, immunity is pretty low. Let's go with 75. I think that's fair. You, let's trade you for... Uh, 100, I think, is fair. These are decent stats. Again, we might not get any of these trades through... Oh, these are great stats, but... One... Hundred. Let's stick with 100. Come on now. There we go. Again, 100 over here. I think should be fair. I think. You, again, not the greatest stats. Immunity being low scares me off. So I wouldn't be surprised if it scares other people off, right? And your stats aren't that great either. They're like all green, but overall they're, you know, on the low end of green, I would say. So let's try 75 for you as well. We'll see. Maybe we'll make some uh, conservation credits. Maybe we won't. What's the deal over here? Oh, this community challenge. Right. Done. Shall I... 15 animals born. Shall I collect all unclaimed rewards? Let's do it. Seven, eight. Eight rewards claimed. Wow. Okay. I've got a new hat. I've got a new shirt. 375 conservation credits. Won't complain about that. And a Nile monitor. A female Nile monitor. Sure, I will claim all of that. We do have to get started on our Africa section. Uh, I've mentioned a couple of times the Africa section will be taking uh, this space over here, and it will be uh, coming hopefully soon. I want to I want to complete Southeast Asia first. I want to get the polar bears in soon, and then maybe we go to Africa before we come back to uh, China and things like that. China and the Himalayas that we were doing. Uh, I think that might be the way to go. But again, I'm, it's always open uh, to, to change, obviously. Uh, people are lining up here nicely. I do need to add some more bins, and I need to actually up the uh, temperature in this area to be a bit more reflective of the region it's supposed to represent. Let's go ahead and get some of the heaters from inside the enclosure. If I can find you. There we go. Go ahead and duplicate you. Pop you down over here. That'll be nice. Go ahead and pop one of you down over well, let's get you up top over here there we go that's good warm this area up a little bit get one down this little corner over here right next to the garbage bin <laughs> and you know it's gonna smell great Ugh. uh let's get one of you down over here perhaps warm this area up there we go people will hopefully enjoy hanging out in this part of the zoo i'm actually quite happy with how the uh, bazaar has come through bazaar souk Whatever we want to call it. Uh, this is pretty good. We could go ahead and expand this a little bit further. They really like chilling at the uh, the ruins. For which I also have plans today. So hang in there. Lots to accomplish. Lots to accomplish. That should hopefully warm this area up. Make it a bit more comfortable for walking through. There we go. Instant results. Maybe go ahead and move you down over here as well. Let's get a second one. I mean, not move, but duplicate. And well, now the snow is gone. But uh, with the snow being gone, is it time perhaps for our time lapse? Might be. Uh, let me just quickly check and see if there's anything else on my list of to dos that I wanted to do first. Hmm. Seems like we're uh, good to go with the time lapse. All right, so folks, with today's time lapse, I'm hoping to accomplish a fair bit. Uh, hopefully I'll hit all the notes. If I don't, I apologize. But everything from trains to the uh, camel enclosure to little gaps that we've left behind, I'm hoping to do a lot of work. So uh, hopefully we cover as much as possible. And as always, it's based off of a lot of the feedback I've received from you in the comments. But if you have more, keep it coming. Uh, leave some more notes down below. Folks, let's dive on in to our time lapse. All right. Really happy with the contents and successes of this time lapse, though I'll be honest with you, right at the beginning, I don't do as much as I was hoping to do. Uh, with that said, the first thing we do do is uh, get the name settled down on. So the Oasis Outpost won by a mile and a half. Uh, I believe it was, uh, I think the ratio ended up being a 60 40 split or so. I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but there was over 2,000 votes, so great to see that participation. And I'm glad to see many of you uh, liked the implementation of the voting system as well. I might do that more often in the future when I'm kind of torn between decisions. Uh, but yes, thank you for uh, voting in uh, your, your, your selection 
and allowing me to make this call with your assistance. Apart from doing that, going to make some adjustments over here as well. Camelot 1 and 2 need to be resized. They were way too big. Again, pointed out in the comments, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, way too large, so reduce their size and also add a little bit of decoration there with these kissing camels, if you will. Just thought it made the entire area a bit cuter and, you know, just a bit more fun to look at. And uh, after all, that's part of the experience. On the topic of fun to look at, uh, we're going to be doing a lot more work over here. And again, I didn't think I was going to spend that much time, but as many of you pointed out in the comments, and I just realized you can actually recolor the fabric elements. And so I started thinking, well, now if I expand this area, it's not going to look as repetitive. And, uh, and so that's exactly what I do. Now, I want to mention again, and I, I know I've, I sound like a broken record on this topic, but I think previous episode or the episode before that, I said in Turkey, it's called a souk. Evidently, it's it's not called a souk in Turkey, but in Arabic, a souk is a marketplace. It is the, ling the linguistics of that region, of that part of the world, are amazing. Um, it's a source of a lot of our, you know, like a lot of English. A lot of the modern languages that we speak today are, are uh, you know, Indo-European uh, descent. So that part of the world, when it comes to languages, it is, it is a complex beast. So I, I made a mistake there. It is souk is not what they call it in Turkey, evidently. Uh, but it is Arabic for marketplace. Oh, okay. Just wanted to say that out there. Because I've said this countless times. I don't like misinformation. If there's anything I hate, it's misinformation. So if I make a mistake, and I'm again, I'm not perfect. I'm, I've got my flaws as well. When I make a mistake, I want to make sure I come clean and let people know so that they're not walking around with misinformation. So just wanted to clarify that. Anyway, expanded the uh, the area of the uh, marketplace a little bit. Just added a few more canopied section uh, sections, even if they don't actually have markets or, or stalls or vendors or whatever, uh, it just adds something to look at, especially from up top, and it's, it, it just livens the place up a bit more with some more color as well. Then over here, uh, I start tackling a little bit of verticality. Last session when we did our time lapse, we toyed around with it a little bit and I abandoned it, uh, but I saw some of you in the comments say, you know, it was nice to see that that vertical element, the the, the shift in, in height, and I wholeheartedly agree. And so I was like, all right, let's try to tackle this again, but do it a little bit differently. So I'm using the Indian pieces and uh, using the bricks and trim pieces, building basically a minaret. I didn't want to be restricted by the uh, predetermined sizes of the uh, architectural pieces. So I decided to use these individual elements. So basically what you do is you build one piece and then you build another piece, you offset it, and you, you basically set them uh, apart by the diameter of the circle you want to build, then you copy and paste and, you know, duplicate in a circle, basically. Now, this is a little chunky, <laughs> so we're actually going to reduce the size of it, but I'm very happy with my decision to come back to, uh, the, to, to building something to add a little bit of a height difference to this area, because it was starting to feel a little flat, and again, for me personally, again, purely from a personal aspect, uh, my own, you know, memory of of the uh, Medina at Rabat, uh, I'm pretty sure there was a mosque right next to it, if not in the Medina itself. Uh, and so, you'd, you know, you'd be able to see the, the minaret again. I was in middle school, so my memory is a little fuzzy. Um, so I just wanted to, again, personally make a call back to that. And I also wanted to build uh, a bit of a sort of a courtyard area so that when, for the staff as they walk by, it seems a little bit more, I don't know, legit. Uh, putting these arches down and stuff, just something to, uh, these gaps were starting to bother me a little bit, so I decided to put this down, and then I could put down some vegetation in the area, and it feels like it's actually, you know, a courtyard behind a mosque, or it's, the mosque would be on the other side, or something, something, just adds a, a bit of a, it just adds a, a few elements to this space, and I, and I think it's finally feeling complete. Um, like I say, things are never truly complete, but this is as close to complete as I think this is going to get, uh, at least until they release a bunch of new pieces or something, and then we come back to revisit this. But uh, definitely ha happy I came back to revisit this area, and I came back to revisit the uh, verticality over here. Because you can see, again, when we go down low, and I do some shots in real time as well, but when we go down low, uh, as if you were a person walking around, it's really nice to see the minaret off in the distance, you know, up, up, you know, piercing through the sky. Uh, and then we do some stuff with lighting as well that I think really brings it to life. Now we come to the ruins, and I got some great suggestions with regards to the ruins. I got a lot of suggestions with regards to the ruins, actually, uh, and I kept trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. And as I was working uh, through this time lapse, I realized it'd be really cool if this uh, ruined space, th these ruins areas, um, were actually being, I guess, recycled, reused. I don't know what the right term is, but basically 
it was once a, you know, Hellenistic amphitheater, but now it's become a entertainment space uh, with this new uh, architectural style and the, and the new residents of the area. I call it an architectural style. It's what we're using when it comes to like these like, you know, makeshift tents and stuff. Calling that architecture is maybe a little bit um, disingenuous, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, a, it's a marriage of the old and the new, so to speak. So the idea is that, uh, you know, this marketplace is in an area that was previously occupied. Obviously, that place got covered in sand and we actually replaced the rock with sand again because I agree with many of you that it was kind of weird to have rocks overlapping ruins. It should be sand instead, so I, I swapped that around. Um, where was I? I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, it's a funny choice of words considering what we're going to do next, but basically, so yeah, in, in my head, this used to be a, an entertainment space uh, you know, in the Hellenistic period and whatnot, when, when the when the Greeks owned this land, it was it was a, an amphitheater. Uh, but now that we've moved past that era, the marketplace has this space back over here, which is also an entertainment area. Now, in my head, if you could enter the camel enclosure, which I think you can in the real world, camels are relatively friendly. But if you could enter the camel enclosure, this would actually be a place where you know maybe the zoo hosts. Uh, plays or drama pieces or musical pieces or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know, you could actually sit on those steps that we built into the amphitheater and uh, and enjoy. And then I put down those carpets as well underneath the canopies uh, to sort of represent the carpets that you sit on. Um, you, you sit, you eat, maybe have a you know pile of dates that you munch on as you watch a show or something. I don't know. Um, again, Always looking to you guys for your feedback. Always looking to hear your opinions on these things. But for me, it finally made those ruins blend in nicely with the rest of the space, uh, while also uh, giving them a bit of a sort of a purpose, story-wise, giving them a purpose. Uh, and and I, I can actually really like how it looks. But I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just crazy. So y'all, let me know what you think. Um, but overall, very happy with how the. Uh, uh, the space is looking and over here I did get a great suggestion to maybe extend that classical aesthetic out onto the uh, the side over here And I thought that was a great suggestion to so trying to implement it, but unfortunately just not Feeling it like I like this entry uh, Actually makes me think of a, a very particular part of Toronto So I, I like this entrance, but I don't know how to continue it onwards if it was supposed to be like a hall or something So I kind of stopped working on that um, just because it wasn't, uh, I wasn't able to nail it in my head. So maybe we come back to that later. Uh, and you can see I, I started my whole management process a little bit, a little bit, did a little bit of beautification, added a couple of trees here and there, um, saved the game, went to nighttime. The game crashes because why wouldn't it? Uh, and now I want to do a little bit of uh, nighttime stuff because I realized I was going to do a lot of beautification stuff, but I realized that I didn't do any, or rather, I did minimal lighting work. Um, in this, uh, you know, Souk, Bazaar, Medina area, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to get that done, and, and that's kind of where I realized the time lapse ends up taking a lot longer to execute than I'd initially anticipated, which is why I don't get to do everything I wanted to do in this time lapse uh, while staying cognizant of, you know, the time it takes to render and upload and make sure this goes out on time. Uh, but I'm still happy with this time lapse because the end results are, I think, just, I'll, I'm really happy with them. Uh, so yeah, just going around with lighting right now again Using some nice, you know subtle oranges to really get the the sand there to just pop out a little bit and Also, uh, so one is getting the uh, the trees lit up from the minaret itself And then I also actually light up the minaret in a really nice kind of way again using that that bottom-up lighting just oh, for Instant beauty I would say look at that <laughs> immediately. It just looks Fantastic, I think at least, and especially when you get a low down view and the night sky is blue and the minarets lit up in orange I just think it's absolutely gorgeous uh, adding a few more of these uh, you know decorative lights here and there because it, uh, Again, I wanted to feel a little haphazard, but I also want it to be decently lit up I think the aesthetic is pretty well captured. It doesn't have to be super bright in the market space uh, or in the marketplace rather but uh, a little bit of light just to you know Accentuate some of the the areas I guess and I also this was a suggestion I got many many episodes ago that I've been meaning to execute for a while We finally put a solar panel down in the area which has allowed me to light up that in So again great suggestion from like 20 episodes ago or something finally got a chance to execute it So I do remember these suggestions 
Last thing I want to do is add some vegetation to this area, but unfortunately, despite your great suggestions again, there's uh, the vegetation would upset the camels, so I decide against it, and I am pretty happy with the space. But y'all let me know what you think. As always, your feedback means the world to me, so uh, that's the time lapse. Y'all let me know what you think. All right, folks, that's where we're going to call it a time lapse. Uh, I was planning on doing a lot more on that time lapse, but that actually went on for a lot longer than expected because I, I kind of got uh, uh, pulled away by my own distractions. But uh, look at... I'm, I'm really happy with uh, how that looks, actually. I, I like the um, overall darkness of the uh, the marketplace and then the you know the, the, the lit up minaret off in the distance. The blues and oranges, again, classic color combination. I'm actually really happy with... Uh, with how that looks even like from a distance over here i think that looks absolutely absolutely beautiful um but obviously that's just one man's opinion and i'm curious to hear your opinions but definitely glad to add uh, a little bit of verticality to this area as well it was it was commented on in the previous sessions uh comments uh, and i wholeheartedly agree we were experimenting with it a little bit but um it ended up nowhere and then today i decided to go a little bit more complicated with how we built it and uh, pretty pretty happy pretty pleased with uh, with how it's looking now unfortunately it's not really a lookout point or anything no one's going to be uh, hanging out up there but uh, you know just thematically and structurally and uh, uh, aesthetically i think it adds something to this area um and again it speaks to that uh, you know coupling of uh, aesthetics that we've sort of talked about repeatedly when it comes to talking about the uh, Oasis Outpost. Massive numbers, by the way. A huge turnout in terms of votes. Um, I believe it was a total of 2,100 votes or something like that. And I think the split, at least at the time of recording, was about a 60-30 split. So uh, very much in favor of the Oasis Outpost. But again, all the name suggestions were absolutely brilliant. And uh, I greatly appreciate just the sheer level of creativity and comedy and uh, sincerity that comes through the, uh, the the comments when it comes time to give name suggestions. There's always a variety to pick from. And now y'all know, now y'all realize why it's so hard for me to pick names because there's always great names to uh, uh, to pick from. Now, actually doing this little turnaround over here has made me realize that we've got a little bit of a dark spot over here that I would like to light up. Let's get you over there and let's get you pointing kind of upwards as well. Beautiful. I'm just uh, got a it was a sweet spot we saw there there it is there it is a nice warm glow to that minaret beautiful all right great so lots of work done there again it's the end of the time lapse but it's not the end of the work we're going to be doing today uh I will very quickly as you saw the game did crash I've gotten into the habit of saving the zoo every time I'm about to change the time I don't know when that started happening but it started happening uh so now I've started saving the zoo anytime we're going to uh to do this little uh, you know, select a couple of items and, and, and blueprint, change the time. Let's go ahead and hopefully, beautiful, no issues this time around. Make it noon, nice and bright. So, um, I know I said I was going to hopefully, you know, fill out some of these gaps, but like I said, that took a little bit longer than expected. And one thing I want to do before I fill out some of those gaps is uh, adjust our train tracks. Uh, this is something that we've talked about a couple of times, and I think it is time to finally uh, implement the upgrades to the uh, train tracks. Uh, surprisingly, very empty over here. Is it empty up over here as well? Oh yeah, wow, wow. Why? Uh... We used to see decent traffic to these. Maybe when you restart the game, it empties them out or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised, because we were seeing decent traffic. In fact, if you take a look at the financial statistics, lifetime profit of 63k last year we actually lost money on this which is a bit of a problem oh maybe it's not as popular as it once was might be primarily because there's a lot of things that you can't reach via the train that you can reach you know you could you might as well just walk maybe maybe i've upped the price just a little too much i know i changed the price last session maybe let's go ahead and drop you down to 17 see if that makes people a bit more willing to use it however it kind of works out that no one's using it because we're going to actually close it and adjust the track and again initially i was actually going to do this in time lapse mode but the reason why i'm not doing it in time lapse mode is because uh there was a lot to oops, i meant to close you there we go there's a lot to um sort of think about um that's not the right word there's a lot that i am mulling over as i'm building this and i wanted to know your thoughts and opinions uh, as i often do as i almost always do i want to know your thoughts and opinions as i build some of the um the, the changes uh, to to the tracks and I find when I'm time lapsing it's a very different conversation at least for me it's a very different conversation compared to when I am uh, doing things in uh, real time so hopefully y'all don't mind but I do want to work these tracks out a little bit 
Um, and what I want to do is a couple of things. So there was a couple of suggestions that I'm going to be blending together uh, with the uh, with the train tracks, and we will have to adjust our uh, trees and stuff to make sure the tracks have a uh, you know the train has a smooth ride. You're not hitting your head on a branch as you go through because that would not be ideal. And I guess some people are like the idea of, of hitting branches on, on their way through. I, I don't think that's a thing. Um, I, I hope that's not a thing, but uh, let's go ahead and... So what I want to do is a couple of things. Again, I am blending a couple of suggestions and a couple of lines of thinking um, over a couple of episodes. The first one is that I would like to... Um, again, we, we talked about this a fair bit. I would like to actually have our... Uh, first train station be by the entrance over here. And the thinking behind that, if I could just get this to work, the thinking behind that is if you come in and you know you want to see something that isn't available for, for seeing here, then you should be able to immediately decide, you know what, I want to take the train uh, to whatever I want to see. Um, and it, it, Sorry, I feel like I was a bit all over the place saying that. If I come into the zoo and I want, I know I want to see the uh, panda, right? Do I really want to walk all the way to here or all the way to here? Because these are massive distances, right? Like in game, these are huge distances. Do I really want to go all the way to here just so I can get thirsty and hungry and tired uh, to take the train that then takes me this way anyway and then takes me all the way up there? No, not really. Uh, I want to come in. I want to get on the train right away, sit down and enjoy a leisurely journey. Um, all the way up to the pandas. So, I want to have an entrance over here. Entrance and exit on the right side is the plan. Um, okay, now this is where things get a little funky, right? This is where things get a little funky. So, I want to go ahead and do that. Yes, but that's obviously way too far. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. No, nope, undo that. Uh, go back another step. What if I put the track down over here? So I wish, I wish this was a bit easier to work with. Uh, not the biggest fan of the track laying system. Works great for things like roller coasters, I'm sure. But uh, not so much for this. I mean, I guess I could do this. Um, have people climbing up over here. That's a little too high as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and back it up a little bit. I'd, I'd like to also not be obnoxiously high. Um... In, in terms of uh, verticality, when we when we get to, to that point, like I don't want to have another set of stairs, like a, a long set of stairs or anything. A short set of stairs, sure. Long set of stairs, no thank you. Go ahead and follow the curve over here a little bit. Right? How about how about that? That might be a bit much still. We'll find out. Put you down there. Okay. Getting there. We're getting there. Adjust you like so. Wonder if I... You know what? Yeah, I think I'll need to. Okay, I know what I need to do. Go ahead and pull back a little bit. Here we need to go straight for a little bit longer. and Let's not go higher. Keep it level. Right, let's go straight for one more step. And then we rotate. Rotate, and then that, that's, that's completing our rotation. And here we put down the track. No, not like that. Um, do I have to put you down? I think I might have to put that down. And then over here, can we adjust like so? No, right? No, it's based off of that previous piece. Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. Getting there. So, a little less like that, a little more like that. Pop you down. Hmm. I really want it to be straight. <laughs> I really want it to not be curved. It would make me very ha There we go, right? So... A couple of stairs, but you get up top, right? Uh, so we do that, and then the tracks continue past Om Nom Nom. Lengthen you a little bit. And now here's where things get a little interesting, because we will have a negative impact in this area unless we sliver through that gap there. Unless we sliver through that gap there. So let's go ahead and work towards that. Got you going that way. And then going right through that gap. Beautiful. 
So you go by Om Nom Nom and at Om Nom Nom, or rather behind Om Nom Nom, I was thinking we could have another station. Now I know these stations end up very close, which is the problem. The other option is that from up over here, we have a connection to Om Nom Nom, so people can go there and interact with it more. See, that was the other suggestion was that uh, perhaps we need the station to be over here so that people are more likely to come to this area. Now, another thing we could do is, and this is why I want to do this in real time, because there's a lot of decision making over here. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and have your input. Uh, see, another thing we could do is this. I don't know how I feel about this, primarily because uh, I feel bad for the animals beneath. Below. Beneath? Below? You, you know what I mean. So let's see. Like, I could do... Wow. These stations, man, they're huge. They're huge. I'll have to move that uh, <laughs> tree as well. See, I couldn't put one... I don't think I'd be able to fit one here anyway. Unless I put it on the ground, in which case it'll have to come back up to get up to there. Um, let's see. You go through, you go around. Can you not... Um, reduce the size of I thought you could reduce the size of the you can right yeah you can can you reduce it on that side hmm. interesting so you can reduce it from the back but not from the front weird all right Weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that last step. What if I put the station over here? So again, you'll have to take stairs up. It goes right over the um, the tortoises. I don't know how they'd feel about that. Isn't their opinion the one that matters most? Isn't their opinion the one that matters most? What if I pop it down over here? I don't know how I feel about that. Let's try and okay, let's try this. Let's go ahead and pull you back another step. If I put this down over here, obviously it doesn't work. I like us going through over here. I, I like that. Here's where the problem comes up. Guess I could do that. It's a long path to the entrance. Not the end of the world, I suppose. Uh, what if I... Do that. The shorter path to the entrance. I wouldn't want these supports to be over here, so I'd turn off the track supports, build my own custom supports. But yeah, you can come up to Om Nom Nom and then get onto the train over here. I suppose that works. I suppose that works. Let's try. I'm going to put it down for now. And then I want to, again, hear what y'all think. So, I, and I can't. I can delete it from the back over there. I cannot delete it from the front. Oh, interest. Okay, hold on a second. Ah, I can. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I just got to click up there. Ah, beautiful. Okay, wonderful. That's good, because I, I do want it to be a bit more compact. Okay, this is great. Yes. Make that connection. Okay, that's a lot better. Yes, it, it, it limits the size of our trains, but I'm fine with that. All right, I like that. You go this way, then over here. Yeah, pretty compact. I like that. Um, and I... Hmm. How can I... Let's see. I do... There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I've got you now coming down, connecting over here. And then on the other side, we shall go. And uh, let's see if I delete these pieces. Could I? I guess I gotta delete that too. Okay. Not a problem. I can do probably this. Uh, almost. Track limits exceeded. Okay, well then, go ahead and pop you down over there. Add supports. Yes. And then we should be... What do you mean tracks limits exceeded? Oh, can a track only be so long? No way. Really? Let's see. No. So that's obviously not the case. Alright, let's try... 
There we go. All right. Don't know what it was, but cool. So yeah, you come down over here, you get on and off over here, and then you continue over to here. Great. Then comes the challenge of going around up to the Arctic area. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to do this right now. Now I want to figure out if... Uh... See, because we're, we're going to be adding the polar bears very soon, folks. We're going to be adding the polar bears very soon. Um, and I don't want people to go there and get off and be upset because there's nothing over there. Just so that I can get people going to the pandas. And I also want to see how this works, actually, before we get too gung-ho about it. I want to see how this and if this works. So let's, uh, you know, let's, let's stick to this for now. And see how this plays out. Now, if I was going to add entrances and exits. Are you... What's the... Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to place the entrance. Why aren't you letting me? Come on, game. Come on. Come on. It's not letting me select the uh, station there. Okay, let's see. I can select this one. I go here. Place entrance. Place exit. Weird, it's not letting me... Oh, oh, okay. The stations are backwards, so to speak. Okay. So if the entrance is... Let's say over here, and the exit is, let's say, over there. Could I, let's see, connect you out this way. And I connect to this. In this angle, I have my doubts. Yeah, it looks like a no. Looks like we have to do this kind of a thing over here. Or could I? No, it's got to be up top. Got to be up top. So we'll have to adjust our uh, stone rock formations and stuff up over here. Let's see if I do this. There we go. And then if we have our exit path, which should be built of this. Come on now. Let's see if I... Maybe if I do this instead. No. Nope. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's try... Use that length. The angle snap. No, gotta keep the angle snap on. Sometimes this the whole path system just... Okay, there we go. And we connect to... No, can't connect to you. Why game? Why? Angle snap to 15 degrees, or sure, even 30, whatever. Want to connect to this. Just want to connect to that. Alright, what if I try building out from over here? Don't think it'll let me. Width is as short as it'll go. Yeah, it won't let me connect to that. Alright, let's try. Let's see. Don't think this will work. Obstructed. Right, because it's probably too uh, too tight fitting. Okay, let's see. Undo this a little bit more. Button flip you like so. It's actually wild to me how much it doesn't want to work. Oh, okay. Right, so there's a spot there. Could I do this? Kind of? No, obstructed. Why are you Okay. I might be too, like, close to the... There we go. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Strong word, beautiful, but y you know what I mean. So then over here... Could we... Potentially... No, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, okay, let me out over here. Nah, it won't let me connect. I might need to push this a little bit further back. Hold on, let's try, let's see. Really, you let me go that way? That's wild. <laughs> this pathing system. Alright, oh. Add it there. 
we ha- uh, yeah, uh, no. Come on. Facing the other way. Facing the- there we go. That's what I wanted. That's when you realize that it's probably not cooperating because you're, uh... I go up a step. No, you're obstructed there now. We'll get this at some point, folks. We'll get this at some point. I might, uh, finally lose my patience and just cut this all, whole thing out. See, what I want to kind of do is find a way to make this work like so, where obstructed. Now we're a little too tightly packed, I think. All right, time to time to give up on this. Uh, and by give up, I mean we're just going to move the uh, station back a little bit. If I can. Not the whole track, just this bit. Wish I could. There we go. A little bit over. That should do the trick. There we go. Alright. Should've just done that sooner. My apologies. Alright, station 102. Even though that's not technically... Your designation, that's fine. Let's place our exit over here. Alright. Now we should be good. Okay. There's our... Point of entrance. Really? Oh, we just had the entrance. Oh, there we go. All right, bit of a slope, but you know what? That's fine. It's not the uh, not the end of the world. Over here, people should be able to. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, hold on. You know what? I might, uh, I might save this for later, or or it'll work right as I start to give up on it. Now, see, it just won't let me hook up partway through this slope. Is the problem there? I figure out the best way to maybe find like find like a middle ground, or what the game will allow me to do versus what I wanted to do. So, like, if I can do, let's say, this kind of a thing. That's still too close. Still obstructed. Hmm. Still obstructed. What if I do this? It'll let me connect. No, it won't. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, okay. Try this? No, it won't let me connect that either. Wow, I really have to like push this even further back. Would not have expected that. All right. It's just because of the amount of space I have. And I can only go so far back. Well, this might make the decision for me in terms of what I can and can't do over here. Let's see, how else could I... Well, one, one thing I could do is I could place the exit a little bit further over, and then we could have the uh, path... I don't care what pathing I use right now, as long as it's something. That we can do that. And then... You... Should be able... To connect like so. And maybe... Not gonna let me do that. What if I do? All right, we're getting there. We're get. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right, if we place the entrance further up that way, place the exit over here, right? And again, I I, I do this in real time as well because then if anybody else is seeing similar problems, then they might have an indication of like how they can fix it when they're dealing with it. All right, there we go. This this should work. This should work, right? So from here. Come on. 
so many paths over here. There we go. And... Really? Come on, game. Nice. Nice, I say. Using that word in a very incorrect fashion. Cool. So, this works. We have to make it prettier, obviously, but it works in theory. Go ahead and clear out this space. Make some room for you over here as well. Pull you down there, get rid of this. And this bench, I suppose, we could move you. Uh, we can probably move you down over here, I think. No, wow, funny. Okay, well, <laughs> away with you then, I guess. Uh, and again, we'll we'll make adjustments to this stuff so it fits in a bit more naturally. For now, though, I mean, I, uh, it'd be hilarious if most of you are like, nah, party, that was a dumb idea. You should get rid of uh, the station by the entrance. I'll accept that as uh, as feedback. It would just be hilarious after the time we've spent on it. So you know what? I'm actually going to just move this rock a little bit out of the way, and then I'm going to leave the rest to uh, after when I see what y'all think. There we go. Cool. So now you can get up over here. You're happy, you're on the train, you didn't have to waste time walking to a different place. Uh, and then over here, got the entrance over there, the exit over here. Let's see if we can actually connect them. That evidently is the big struggle. Might be too close, perhaps, again? Maybe. This might be too steep. Do that. There we go. Mm. Yeah, not willing to attach there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what about over here? If we get the uh, same logs going. Come on now. Come on now. Hmm. This really becomes a bit messy, doesn't it? The snapping is killing me, too. All right, let's see. Oh, hello. Well, what do you know? We could actually attach this. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so if we can attach you, then surely... Surely we can attach you. If we increase the length a little bit, no. Go up from over here, no. Come on, game. Come on. I mean, the other option is that the entrance is elsewhere. That That is an option. The entrance comes on this side and people come up from here. They exit from over here. That's actually not bad because then, you know, when they come through, they exit into Om Nom Nom. It works kind of both ways. Uh, and it might actually maintain the in integrity of this uh, area as well, which I also don't mind. So, sure, you know what? Let's actually adjust the type of station you are. Can I do that without having to... Oops. Without having to rebuild. Oh no, I think I might have to. Unless, what about if I... Let's see if this works. I highly doubt it, but you can't score if you don't shoot. Come on now. Oh! Yeah, go, go right through the tracks. Okay. Nah, that's not gonna work. Obstructed. Ooh. Maybe it will work. Obstructed. Come on. Obstructed by what? The, the path down there? Or by the uh, tracks over here? Moment of truth, I guess. Let's see if this works. If I edit the track, and I delete this section, go back to paths. Mm, might have actually been by the track there. Okay. Will you add a little bit further, straight on out? Longest entrance to uh, one of these rides. Oh, come on. Right at the end over here is not going to work. Let's just extend this pathing a little bit. You. Over here. Come on. 
come on. This is hilarious. Maybe just to me, but I do find this funny. Alright, how about now? There we go. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna have to clean up how that looks, though. I don't like how that looks. We could decorate it with, like, trees and stuff. But let's see if it even allows us to... Oh, wow, that's hideous. Okay. No, 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 no. That's even uglier than I thought it was. There we go. There. That's that's a lot more acceptable. So let's go ahead and see now if the uh, tracks... Beautiful. Cause a problem. All right, so that all works. They're all connected. They're all charging, hopefully, 17 bucks at the very least. Come on, guys. At least synchronize your prices. 17 bucks. All right, cool. Shall we open it? I think we can open it. Go ahead and open it, and let's go ahead and uh, hit play. It's got a... There we go. Didn't take very long to adjust. Well, this entire session has been on pause. Could I actually habitat cleanliness is a disease risk? The Ivory Palace. What? Why? A lot of people... A lot of you are saying that the latest update has caused some issues with regards to... Um, to these these things um the keepers attending properly and things like that where is my train actually wondering if i should add more trains because the track has now become longer and there's more stoppage points and stuff this is the right camera i think it'll be pretty interesting i think once um People realize that they can use... I mean, I'm hoping once people realize they can use it up here, they'll start showing up. It'll drive people up here. Because it, it, it would be unfortunate if people just don't use this for all that effort. I'd be willing to accept my fate. Uh, and if nothing else, it at least tells me that I can send the train down this way over to Om Nom Nom. Rather than up this way over to Om Nom Nom, which you know, just didn't make sense. Hmm... Looks like we're not having too much luck. Yet. We'll see. We'll see if people even realize they can use this space. Because the trains weren't being used. Okay, we are getting some use now. Over there at least. Hmm. What about over here? I don't know if anyone's going to be willing to make this trek. Might have made this a bit too convoluted. Might need to actually flip this around and make it so that people... Oh, are you... No, you're just a... Keeper. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think I'll need to readjust this entire... Setup. What's this? You're not set to move... Often enough? Ah, oh, what am I looking for? Don't block station. Okay. Let's see if anybody even gets off over here. Nope. Not anyone's point of interest. Fair enough. Oh, look, look, look. People are using it. Awesome. Okay, great. At least someone's coming up over here. So we know that people know that it exists. We know that people know that they can use it. Um, cool. All right. Oh, you know, I didn't check. I didn't check my last report. Beautiful. Five stars all across the board. No surprise there, though. No surprise there. Now, what's the deal over here in terms of your weight? Let me just check again real quick. Um, don't block station. Minimum weight is 60 seconds. Maximum is 110. Maybe that's a bit much. Maybe drop this, perhaps. Keep people rolling. 30 seconds, maybe. Mi oh, minimum rider load. You know what? Half load should be enough. Let's... Uh, Hey, look at that. More people coming through. Awesome. Okay, cool, cool, cool. People are using this. And are people using this one? This one might be a bit much. We might need to nudge this over so people can get on from over here. Though it does look like we have a guest. Nah, he's going in there. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Now, this train's arrived over here. We have to make sure that you're set to uh, not block either. Put you down to 30 seconds as well. See what happens there. Yeah, this, this might just be too convoluted a queuing line. Come on now. Come on now. Move along. 
The block station is on. Don't block station should override minimum rider load, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, but let's set it to any load just in case. It's gonna go, it's gonna go. I saw the exit close. Hopefully it's gonna get going soon. And then we can see if people... See, I... Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of this placement, actually. Because this it also interrupts this area and it hides this bin. Oh, you know, there's actually quite a few issues with this. Actually, quite a few issues with this. I might need to close the ride and fix this. Will people get off over here, though? No one's going to get off over here. Because why bother? Because it's too close. Yeah, I don't know, folks. I'm curious to hear your opinion about this. Uh, definitely need to rework this, though. I mean, no one's going to care to walk all the way around here. You might as well go to, like, India or whatever. Like, the India section, you know, instead. So maybe we do nudge this over. Or maybe we get rid of this. Because uh, if people aren't even exiting over there, or maybe we get rid of this one. Though people are queuing up over here, which is nice to see. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You guys need to let me know, but this is where we're going to call it a session, folks. I think we have made good money still, still at 1.2 million plus. We're steadily at that 5k visitor mark as well. Things are looking pretty good, I think, in terms of our, uh, um, you know, enclosures and stuff. People are having a good time. I think the camels are doing quite well as well in terms of making money. So that's great to see. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Facility broken down. Let's go ahead and get you repaired right away. Yeah, people have been mentioning these are problems like mechanics and keepers and stuff just not attending to things as much as they used to. Anyway, folks, like I said, let me know your thoughts and let me know what you all want to see next. I'm seeing a lot of calls for the Komodo Dragon coming up next, which uh, I've got a great idea for now as well, thanks to y'all in the comments. So we might kick that off. And then again, we're going to be trying to get the polar bears in uh, very soon. Very soon, folks. Big milestones coming up. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, makes a massive difference with regards to uh, how I approach content on the channel. Big ol' thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons as well for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Uh, you help keep this channel alive and running smoothly. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.